Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Spokane T24 Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. Just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type answers, as to type your questions to our presenters at any time, rather. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. And this is just one of many different sessions that we have uh, today, this week, and all fall. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same web website where you registered initially. And now I'll turn it over to our presenters. And first up, we'll hear from Carrington College. Great, thank you so much. My name is Marisa Tibbetts. I am from Carrington College right here in Spokane. And um, very excited to be here. Um, very excited to share a little more about some of the options that Carrington College um, offers uh, potential students um, here in the area. And um, we also have many students that come from um, out of state as well. Um, so we have a very diverse student population. Um, something important to know about Carrington College is that we are accredited. Um, you'll learn a lot about accreditation as you're researching colleges, but that basically means that you're getting quality education um, you have the option to look at transferring credits to other schools, and it's something that employers uh, pay attention to. Um, it's also something that allows um, us as a college to offer federal financial aid to students who qualify. Um, some of the top reasons why students choose to study at Carrington College is that our programs really equip you for the skills that employees want. Uh, we focus on very hands-on um, learning, so you actually get to practice in lab environments, and we provide externships, so you'll spend time working in hospitals or vet clinics or pharmacies as part of your training. Um, we are also accredited, as I mentioned, and um, we have both online and on-campus options for study. Um, the other thing that is a really cool benefit about Carrington College is you can complete a program um, between seven and 15 months. So we even have associates programs that you can complete in less than two years. We have locations all across the United States and we happen to be the only one in Washington State. Um, but again, we do have students that come from all over to attend, um, but that does make us unique. We're the only Carrington campus that offers a medical radiography program. Um, so if you're interested at all in x-ray, um, we're the only campus that offers that out of our sister schools. Um, the programs that we have here in Spokane include medical, dental, administrative, vet assisting and as I mentioned earlier we have associate degree programs and then we also have just started offering affiliate partnership bachelor degree programs but we do this in stages so you can actually start with a certificate which is only about nine months to complete that'll allow you to start working in your field and then you have the option to move on with an associate's degree which is on average about nine more months to complete and then we're able to partner you with affiliate schools to then move on with next steps and a bachelor's degree. Um, if you have already taken previous college credits, uh, we do evaluate those for transferability. Um, this just gives you some details on what we look at for that ability to transfer, but it could reduce the time of you being able to complete your program, um, as I stated, between that seven and 15 months. Some additional benefits that we offer students at Carrington um, include complimentary tutoring. Um, that's not something that you have to pay extra for. Um, we offer that to students um, both on campus and then um, since we've made a lot of changes since COVID occurred, we are offering 24-hour um, online support for our students as well, which also includes tutoring. Um, we have individual academic coaching and we have a career services department. So that team will actually help you in writing a resume, getting prepped for interviews, and helping you search for work when you graduate. Our goal is to see students not just finish school, but be able to work in their field as well. Um, 
I'm trying to keep this within the six minute time frame. So um, the next steps that we're asking students to do, and of course you're doing this through um, StriveScan, but um, provide your name and information so we can reach out to you. And what happens is we will actually set up a virtual tour of our campus and you'll get to meet with someone from my team and student finance to be able to help you with any additional questions. Um, our goal is to really get to know students to find out um, what is the best option for you when it comes to a program in a school. We know that we may not be the right option for every student, but we wanna make sure that you learn a little more about those possibilities out there and help you make that decision. Um, again, my name is Marisa Tibbetts. I'm the Director of Enrollment at Carrington. My contact information is um, here at the very bottom and um, look forward to meeting you guys individually. And thank you so much. Great, thank you, Marisa. And next up, we'll hear from Perry Tech. How's it going, everyone? My name's Nareda, and I am the admissions coordinator for Perry Tech. Okay, there we go. Can everyone hear me okay? Yep, you sound great. Okay. So we are a private nonprofit technical institute in Yakima, Washington. So we're about three, three and a half hours away from Spokane. We are an accrediting school. We're accredited by the Accrediting Commission of Career Schools and Colleges. And currently we offer 14 different programs that are gonna essentially lead our students off into successful careers. Our programs are a little bit different. They're either range from a year to two years in completion. We're more of a hands-on school. So we spend the majority of our time in a shop or lab area and a little bit minimal time within the classroom lecture area. So we divide the time into both. Uh, our programs are in demand right now in industries. So our students are having no issues finding employment after they graduate from our school. Our school runs all year round, all 12 months throughout the year. Uh, you do get some vacation time, you get five weeks off throughout the year, and then all of the holidays as well. Classes are only Monday to Thursday. You spend about seven to eight hours out of your day here at school, and you're just practicing your trade you are putting to work what you what you are learning within the classroom the classes that you're taking are specific to the program that you're in so if you're in our auto program you're only taking automotive classes if you are in our construction program you're only doing construction classes very straightforward what you need is what you get all that we require from our students is they either have a high school diploma or a ged and then to complete our enrollment steps which include taking a tour which have now gone virtual because of COVID, uh, application, passing our entrance exam, and then submitting your transcripts. That's pretty much it for the enrollment process. Uh, cost is approximately 19 to 22,000 per year. We do accept financial aid. So if you qualify for financial aid, we'll accept anything that you qualify through them. And then scholarships as well. We accept scholarships right now, seniors, juniors, look into scholarships. That's the best way into paying for your schooling or helping you paying for your schooling. And the sooner you do your financial aid, the better. We have our own financial aid team on campus as well. Uh, you don't have to sign up for any appointments or anything. You can talk to them at any time or drop by and visit as well. As far as housing goes, since we are in Yakima, unfortunately, we don't have any on-campus housing. However, the local college, Yakima Valley College, they are right down the road and they offer their dorms to our students. So you can definitely house through there. But since we don't have any housing uh, on campus, students are free to house through whatever means it is that they want. If they want to rent an apartment, if they want to live with family in the area, if they want to uh, rent a house with a group of their friends, if they're coming together, you are more than welcome to do any of that. All of that information is on our website at perrytech.edu. You guys can go on there and visit and find all that information on how to schedule a visit, one of our virtual visits now, how to get information on the programs itself and everything that we offer, and then as well as getting financial aid, housing information, it can all be find, found on the website. Uh, 
the slide that you guys are watching, that's my contact info. Feel free to email me, give me a call. I will have my own little Zoom meeting as well, and I can go more in detail about the programs that we offer, the length of them, and just give you more specifics on any of that. So make sure to join afterwards if you guys like. Thank you. All right, and next up we have the Community, community Colleges of Spokane. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Leslie Dawson with the Community Colleges of Spokane. I'm the Student Recruitment Manager with SFCC. I'm excited to share with you how Community Colleges of Spokane has a place for you. Not to mention, we are all about the business of transforming lives. Community Colleges of Spokane is comprised of two campuses. The first is Spokane Community College centrally located at 1810 North Green Street. SCC also has remote locations in Colville, Inchileum, Republic, and Newport. We also have the Spokane Falls Community College, which is located in Northwest Spokane at 3410 Fort George Wright Drive. SFCC also has a remote location in Pullman, Washington. CCS definitely has a place for you. With over 120 programs of study to choose from between our two campuses, we offer online, on-ground, and hybrid course options. We run on a 12-week quarter system in the fall, winter, and spring, as well as offer a summer condensed session. Our class sizes are small, with less than 20 students in most courses. And our educational options are diverse some with completion in as little as one year. We offer career and technical certificates, apprenticeship programs, Associate of Applied Science degrees, Bachelor of Arts degrees. We have transfer agreements to four-year universities, and we provide credit for prior learning in some cases. As I mentioned, we offer diverse educational options, and I'd like to tell you a bit about each. Our certificates and associates of applied science degrees are a great choice if you're looking to go straight into a high demand field after completion. Uh, some of our career and technical certificates can be completed in as little as one year, and completion of the AAS degree generally can be completed in six to seven quarters. Our direct transfer degrees offer you the opportunity to save some money and get some of those general credits out of the way before transitioning to a four-year university. We do require 90 credits for degree completion. We offer degree plans to map out your path and all credits will transfer to four-year public universities in Washington State. CCS also offers several Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in areas such as healthcare, business, and IT. Each of these programs builds on the AA degree, offers upper division coursework, and provides that sought after four year degree once you're looking for employment. We encourage you to apply for your financial aid soon. The FAFSA opens for the 2021-22 school year, October 1st. Applying for financial aid lets you know what grant aid exists. This is money free to you for your educational costs. Additional sources of funding triggered by completing the FAFSA include work-study programs, which equates to on-campus employment, and optional student loan choices. Scholarships, both internal and external, can ease the financial burden as well. And you can always set up a quarterly payment plan if you choose to pay out of pocket. 
As you can see, another advantage to attending classes at CCS is the significant cost savings compared to other Washington schools. So what are the next steps to becoming a student at CCS? We encourage you to go to www.spokane.edu. There you can choose your school and the program of study. You can complete our online application in about 15 minutes. It also has links to submit your FAFSA, which again opens October 1st. As you can see, I've included our school codes to be entered in your financial aid application. And then just sit back and watch for your welcome email. Included in that email will be directions on how to complete that new student online orientation and get registered for classes. Our campuses are currently offering campus tours by appointment only and small groups to ensure the health and safety of all. We will also share our contact information in the Zoom lounge following the presentation so that you can connect directly with each of our college campuses. Be sure to join us in the Zoom lounge. You can find the link in the chat box. We look forward to answering all of your questions at that time, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you. And next up, we have DigiPen Uni uh, sorry, Institute of Technology. Awesome. Thank you so much. I am going to share my screen here. All right, so yes, hello everybody. My name is Nick. I am an outreach representative here at DigiPen Institute of Technology. And yeah, I'm here to talk to you all about our school. So what is DigiPen? We're a pretty unique school, fairly small. We were founded in 1988 by Mr. Claude Kumer, who's actually still our president to this day. Uh, so we're, we're pretty modern, all things considered. We're a private four-year college. And you can see our areas of expertise right there in a lump sum. It's essentially interactive media and technology, which in layman's terms means video game development. Uh, so we're known colloquially and within the industry as a video game development school. You can see we have computer science, art and animation, game design and development, as well as music and sound design. Not all of our graduates go on to work in the video game industry. A lot of them work as, say, computer scientists at companies like Microsoft and things like that, or as artists in other media companies. But that's really what we practice here at DigiPen, and it's what our reputation is in the industry. So where is DigiPen Institute of Technology? We're in Redmond, Washington, which is just a little bit east of Seattle. So we're on the west side of Washington. Something nice about being in Redmond is that if you do want to enter the technology or video game development world, Redmond is one of the best hubs in the world actually for, uh, for those fields, for computer science and game development. Microsoft is right down the road from us, literally. They're our top employer. Our building used to be a Microsoft building. Uh, Nintendo of America is also in Redmond. In fact, our, uh, we've had lots of faculty come from Nintendo of America. We've had plenty of alumni go to work for Nintendo as well. But then of course, uh, other big tech giants. Uh, I mentioned Microsoft earlier, but then things like Amazon are in Seattle, Boeing, uh, and then there's a big Google office here as well. And then actually hundreds of game development companies, not just the big AAA ones, but smaller ones as well. Uh, and our alumni are all over the place here in Redmond and elsewhere. Let's take a look at the numbers, a look by the numbers rather, at DigiPen. Uh, so continually, uh, well actually first off, we offered the very first bachelor's degree in video game programming. We still offer that degree. Uh, we've just made sure that it's modernized throughout the years uh, to stay relevant with changing technology. Uh, it's got really, really high placement rates, uh, gainful employment, uh, so that our students when they're done with DigiPen are finding good work. Uh, and so we're, we've, like I said, just kept on modernizing it, made sure that it's relevant. Uh, the average class size here at DigiPen is only about 20 students, and our teacher to student ratio, sorry, student to teacher ratio is about 10 to 1, which means you're going to get a lot of personalized instruction here at DigiPen, especially the farther you go up in your classes, the more specialized you get, the more personalized instruction you get with your teachers. Uh, and you can see right here, 1,500 separate games, uh, or yeah, 1,500, uh, graduates are credited on more than 1,500 commercial games, yes. Uh, so that being said, in our short 31-year history, the fact that our alumni have shipped over 1,500 commercial games 
it's really a testament to the strength of our programs and the strength of our alumni. And then you can see down at the very bottom, there's a whole bunch of different awards that our students have won. Uh, of note, I'll see at the bottom top five, uh, we're continuing within the best top five game development schools and game design schools as rated by the Princeton Review. They're a reputable uh, sort of review source for what different colleges are good at. And then to the right of that, you can see the IGF awards. The Independent Games Festival happens every year in California. We actually base our spring break around it so students can attend more easily if they'd like. Students go and submit their student games that they've been working on at that festival. They've won 57 different awards there competing against student teams and other independent game developers. And that 57 number is more than the next 10 schools combined. So it just goes to show that we have a really, really strong margin of victory and a strong, strong fingerprint in the industry. So what are the degree programs that we actually offer here at DigiPen? Well, you can see here we have a variety of computer science programs, including a straight ahead Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, uh, a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science in Machine Learning. We're one of the few schools to be able to offer that at a bachelor's level. Then we also have a Master's in Computer Science, Game Design and Development on the right, a Bachelor of Arts in Game Design, a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and Game Design. And then that very first video game development degree is the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and Real-Time Interactive Simulation. If you think about what a real-time interactive simulation is, it's a video game. Uh, digital Art and Animation, you can see it out there. We have a Bachelor's in Fine Arts and Digital Art and Animation, as well as a Master's. And then Music and Sound Design, we have a Bachelor of Arts in Music and Sound Design, as well as a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and Digital Audio. The digital audio degree is really interesting. It's for people who uh, enjoy coding and mathematics, but really appreciate what comes out of the speakers when you're playing a game or watching a movie or something like that. You're gonna be the one coding audio engines and things like that. If anybody's been keeping track of the next generation consoles that are gonna be coming out soon, the new Xbox and the new PlayStation, if you've looked, taken a look at any of the specs and seen uh, the graphics engines and the audio engines, uh, we have alumni that are going to be working in those engines, uh, and so it's really exciting actually seeing the work that they're doing. So what's the secret sauce? DigiPen has a lot of alumni working in really, really great fields all across uh, the media world. Uh, and so you can see right here, the academic approach is broken down into two different fields. There's the academic fundamentals, which is what you think of as being school, right? You go to class, you listen to the lecture, you do the homework, that whole thing. But then we also have a large project learning portion. So starting your sophomore year, you're gonna be in a cross-departmental game team, the first semester two year and a half, actually builds a game with people from the different departments. So if you're an artist, you're gonna be working with computer scientists, game designers, and that really makes students employable and shows that uh, they can work in teams. Uh, prepare to apply, check our website. We have a bunch of different portfolio requirements and mathematics is always helpful as well. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. We would love to talk to you and yeah, hang around for the Zoom chat afterwards. Great, thank you. Next up, we have Verto Education. Thank you, so glad to have you with us. Uh, I'm, I'm Shaneen, and I am a senior admissions counselor here at Verto. Um, Verto Education would love to help you start college differently by spending your first semester traveling the world while earning a full load of general education credits. Let's take a look about what Verto really is like. All right, oh, so now that I have your attention, uh, Virtu Education's mission is to help make college more affordable and accessible to students and to provide the, the best first year at college experience. Through these transformational semesters, students become better global citizens and leaders impacting the world positively. Students receive 16 general ed credits on every semester. You don't need to major in any academic focus of a given semester. 
Our semesters, as you can see here, they run from a more traditional campus-based semester in London, Milan, and Madrid to more adventurous field-based semesters in Hawaii, Costa Rica, and the Dominican Republic, and the South Pacific, which includes the countries of Fiji, New Zealand, and Australia. You have to consider what type of student you are, more traditional or more hands-on. We'd love to help you find a semester that's a great fit for your learning style and your interests. Whether you're interested in exploring exciting metropolitan areas such as London, Milan, or Madrid, or taking a more hands-on approach in one of those field semesters, uh, Berto Education has a meaningful and life-changing experience waiting just for you. You could see that the first pillar there was to offer the best first year college experience. And our second pillar is to help you with admission to a REACH school. Um, we help you apply to a wide range of excellent colleges and universities, really solidifying your four year plan. When you apply to Virto Education, you can apply simultaneously and free of charge to any of our partner colleges. So it really streamlines that application process. You don't have to pay their application fee and you don't have to complete their individual applications. And so here's how it works. You apply to Virto Education and the partner colleges at the same time. And then within just a few weeks, you'll get an admissions decision, not only from Virto, but from the partner colleges to which you've applied. After completing a semester or two with Virto Education, you then arrive seamlessly on your chosen campus not interested in any of our partner schools, maybe you wanna to go to the one of the other ones that you've seen during this presentation today, it's no worries for that. We have a process for helping you reach out to your top schools also. Virto Education's list of US and international partner colleges is continually growing. Right now, uh, we have no partner schools in Washington, but we have three in Oregon, including the University of Oregon, Portland State, and Lewis and Clark. And we're currently in talks with several Washington State schools, so stay tuned for that. Um, through Virto, you can apply to up to five of our partner colleges. And our Virto partners give priority to our students for scholarships, and they very much value the experience and the maturity that Virto education students bring with them after participating with us. And the third pillar of our mission is simple. Make entry into college more affordable than most other institutions of higher learning. And here's how we do that. While a semester of traditional college in the US can run upwards of 35,000, with some being much more, Virto Education semesters range in price from 15,000 to 25,000. That's not just tuition, that also includes lodging, local transportation, day trips, tours and activities, and in most cases, three meals a day. And these costs are before applying that federal financial aid that you've heard about and other grants and scholarships. Uh, depending on your financial need and qualifications, you may be eligible for a grant that could get you one of our semesters for just $5,000, and that's before federal aid. So here's how that works. That's our opportunity grant. Here we see that the grant accompanies both our Latin America and our Hawaii semesters. And the cost of these semesters uh, start at $15,000 and $20,000, uh, but they can be greatly reduced if your family has financial need and qualifies for the grant. For example, the cost of the Latin America semester can be reduced to just $5,000 with the grant, and that's before applying other financial aid and scholarships. Last year, we had a good number of students who were able to get that particular semester for less than $2,000 by the time they added on their financial aid and other scholarships. So ask me about that in the Q&A session. And then later this week, I'm super excited to announce that we're going to be rolling out our Change the World International Honors Program if you have a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher, you may qualify for this exciting year-long program. It offers the chance to complete a semester in Latin America, along with one in either England or the South Pacific. And the scholarship opportunities here are amazing. Uh, depending again on your family's financial need, you might be awarded a 50% or a 75% scholarship or even a full ride scholarship. So we're looking for top performing students uh, who truly want to change the world for our Change the World program. And again, I can answer more questions about that uh, for you in the Q&A session afterwards. If you would like to get a hold of me individually, directly, my number is 971-832-7004. I live in Southwest Washington. And you can see my email there at shawneen at virtoeducation.org. Or you can also just generally visit our website at virtoeducation.org get your questions answered that way. We'd love to help you be able to start college with an amazing travel semester. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon.
Thank you. And next we'll hear from EHL Singapore and Switzerland. Hi everybody, my name is Daniel Flores and yes, I'm representing EHL. Uh, we have a three to one model. So the three is actually what's on your screen right now. Those are the three locations that you can complete your program. So on the left, you have Lausanne, Switzerland in the French speaking part. In the middle is Passau, Switzerland in the Swiss German speaking part. And on the right is Singapore. But don't worry, the program is taught entirely in English. You don't need to know the local language. Uh, the two stands for, we have the traditional bachelor's pathway. So it's called the academic pathway where you go directly into the bachelor's degree or you have the professional pathway, which is for people keen into culinary arts. And then it can lead into a bachelor's degree, which leads to our one. We offer one degree, bachelor's of science in international hospitality management. So to give a little history, um, EHL actually started off as the world's first hotel school in 1893. Um, the whole concept was how do you create, uh, ho how do you own and operate your own hotel, but also add the Swiss sense of hospitality, which is really focused on precision and perfection. Uh, this is actually the first graduating class and in the middle is Jacques Schumi, our founder. And although we started off as a hotel school, we have since transitioned to becoming ranked as the world's number one hospitality and leisure management school. The big difference is we are not just hotels and restaurants. Once again, we are not just hotels and restaurants. Hospitality is truly a business school, but we use our hotel DNA to teach you how do you create a five-star experience in whatever business you look to own and operate. We have over 120 different nationalities on campus, so it's incredibly diverse. 84% um, of our students know three or more languages. Don't worry, you will be picking up another language while you're here. And we have over uh, 30 student committees, which in essence are student clubs. Uh, one thing we're very proud about is last year we became the first school ever to have a Michelin star training restaurant. Now we were able to acquire it last year, but then we also kept the Michelin star this year. Another important thing, we have dual accreditation by the Swiss government and by the US government. So that means if you graduate from EHL, you can work or continue your education worldwide. Fun fact, this is our dress code. We wear suits every single day. Now, one of the campuses that we offer this program is, is Lausanne in the French speaking part of Switzerland. This is a rendering of the future campus. Uh, we have two brand new apartment buildings, three brand new dorms. We have an indoor gym, pool, spa, outdoor basketball court, volleyball court, tennis court, all environmentally sustainable because that's big with Swiss culture. A uh, great thing about being in Switzerland is in a three hour flight from the Geneva airport, you're in up to 36 different countries. So think about your college experience. Do you wanna go to Paris over the weekend? You can do that. Switzerland has all four seasons. Uh, in addition, it's just the most beautiful country, period. Now, if you're looking for a different type of experience, and actually this is uh, other renderings of the future campus too. So you can see just how modern it's going to be. And also the dorms. These are one of the dorms that you would actually be staying in. So very modern, very minimalistic, very Swiss. Now, if you're looking for a different experience, Singapore is another option. Uh, this is in essence like the Switzerland of Asia. Why? Because it is small, just like Switzerland, but also there are several expats from all over the world. So if you're looking to be with people from all over the world, not only in campus, but also around you, you have that ability here. Uh, the, it's gonna be very different climate, hot, humid, luscious, green, a lot of outdoor activities. This is a foodie destination. So street food galore, Michelin star lunch for 15 bucks. Uh, you can be in up to 17 different countries in a three hour flight. So it all comes down to what experience are you looking for? And on the top left is actually the current campus. And then the other pictures are what the inside is going to look like soon enough. Now, the meat and potatoes, it's a four year program. Um, the first six months you switch off courses every week. You're making chocolates, making pastries, drinking wine, making cocktails to uh, making beds, doing laundry, doing housekeeping, working reception. We're teaching you service by you using your hands. Six months Switzerland, and then immediately after that, you have your first six month internship anywhere around the world. Uh, after that, you have two choices, finish off in Singapore or finish off in Switzerland with an opportunity to do an exchange semester. And you take business courses, hospitality courses, and language courses. We offer German, French, Russian, Mandarin, Spanish. Once again, the program's taught entirely in English. 
After that, you have your second six month internship, same deal, anywhere around the world. Then you come back for your final year, you're taking advanced management theory courses, elective courses, and then you actually finish the program being a consultant. Yes, you solve a real problem for a real company, either by yourself, with up to six people. You say, you know what, I actually wanna do my own business plan. We have a startup incubator on campus to help you do that. Or you do a research thesis. This leads us to have 96% of our students get a job within six months of graduation, and that's the highest of any school offering this program. Now, once again, this is not just hotels and restaurants. That's what 40% or 47% of our alumni go into. The rest go into banking, accounting, finance, HEOs, education, healthcare. And these are all companies recruiting our students, whether it's for internships and or full-time jobs upon graduation. So you can clearly see that it is not just hotels and restaurants. For admissions process, it's three phases. We are on Common App. Uh, we do a video interview for now the second and for the third phase. And in addition to that, we also accept uh, financial aid. So for any questions later on, my name is Daniel Flores and thank you for your time. All right, and our last school for the day is uh, Paul Mitchell Spokane. And because this will put us pretty much close to the ending time, I do want to encourage any students who have questions to go ahead and ask them uh, for the previous, and um, a few questions for the previous panelists, go ahead and ask them now since we won't have too much time at the end. And with that, I'll turn it over to Paul Mitchell. All right, hi guys. Just give us one second. Screen share here. Okay, so we have myself. My name is Megan. I'm the admissions leader and I also have my financial aid leader here with me. His name's Blake. Okay, so like we said, we are Paul Mitchell, the school still can. We are a barbering and cosmetology school. Um, here is our information. So if you ever have any additional questions after this today, you can get a hold of us. Um, so let's dive into our cosmetology program. So it is a 1600 hour program. It takes roughly about 11 to 12 months to complete. Um, in that program, you're going to learn all of anything and everything, cutting, coloring, texturing and styling of long and short hair, waxing, facials, manicures and pedicures and makeup. So you're going to get pretty much a little bit of everything in there. Um, our total cost for that program is that fifteen thousand three hundred and fifty. That is going to that is going to include all of your tuition as well as all of your kit costs, which we'll kind of dive into that because that's the fun stuff. And then it also includes the application fee. So all inclusive is that fifteen three fifty. The schedule for all of our programs it's Monday through Friday nine a.m. to four thirty. After your first couple of months, you do have an option of switching down to a nine a.m. to seven thirty p.m. Um, which is kind of nice because you can kind of have a little bit more of a work schedule or anything like that around there. Um, we also have our barbering pro program, which is a total of a thousand hours. It is our shortest program we offer. So it takes roughly about seven to eight months to complete depending on attendance. Uh, and total cost for that is that 10,215. And with barbering, you're essentially a cutting specialist. So you're really gonna dive into those long and short cuts as well as all of the straight razor shaving. You also are gonna learn scalp treatments, deep conditions, braids, styling. So it's not just cutting, it's pretty much non-chemical services. Uh, like I said, that total cost for those programs, it is gonna include your kit. So you're gonna get everything that you need to complete the program. You're gonna get your shears, hot tools, books, assignments, everything like that. And we actually have adapted to being everything digital. So all of your apps, um, all of your textbooks, anything you're gonna need to complete the program is included and it's all yours to keep after the program. So it's a great starter kit. And to top it off, you also get an iPad that you get to keep after the program is completed as well. All righty, now it's my turn. Okay, so my name is Blake. I am the financial aid leader here at Palm Mitchell School Spokane. Um, I know Megan talked about the programs, how awesome they are, that kit and everything. But can you really go to school if you don't know how you're going to pay for it? That's where the FAFSA is going to come into play. So when it comes to our school, we actually offer, um, we're Title IV funded, so you can take out financial aid if you qualify to go towards some of those um, program costs. We also accept payment plans, anything like that. Um, so I definitely recommend taking a screenshot or something of this slide so that uh, you remember our school code, 041919, super easy, but it's really easy to forget too. Um, keep in mind that the next FAFSA uh, will launch on Thursday, October 1st for that 21-22 award years. So definitely check that out, get on, fill that out. Can't wait to have a conversation with you about what you qualify for. 
another really cool thing about our school is we like to gear all of your education to how you learn best. When um, you're in what we call core, it's your first six to eight weeks of school, we actually have you take a multiple intelligence test. That kind of determines how you learn best, how you process information. Um, and then we use that information throughout your program to kind of help you um, get the information and retain the information. Okay, so on top of all of that, so with barbering and cosmetology, it is a license. Not only are you gonna learn all of the technical skills and everything like that to pass that state board exam, but you're also gonna get all of the skill sets and everything like that that you're gonna need to be successful in the successful in the industry later on. You're gonna learn the best ways to hand out business cards. Uh, we'll sit down together and build a resume that's, that's specifically for the beauty industry itself. Um, kind of everything as well as like all of the skills for creating a brand and creating yourself as a stylist. And then on top of all of that, a thing, another thing that we feel that is kind of super cool about the Paul Mitchell culture and everything like that is not only do we participate in fundraising and it's not on a national basis, but we also donate our time and we save, uh, raise money for local charities. So this last year, we actually raised just about $6,000 for a charity called Food for Kids, which goes back and feeds all of the local uh, students that are kind of struggling, don't, don't have food and everything like that. And we also did packing events as well. Yeah, so we definitely encourage you guys to reach out. If you're interested in the beauty industry whatsoever, get in touch with, with us. We would love to bring you into the school. You gotta wear a mask these days, but come in, check out the school. We'd love to show you around and kinda, you can pick our brains, ask any questions you need to. Yeah, and we also are having a national open house on November 10th, so we'd love to see you guys there. Come check it out, see what it's like as the life of a future professional. Our students are gonna be there, kind of hands in hair, you kinda get to see that side of things. So. You don't only have to just sit and listen to us talk, but you get to see what it's like on a day-to-day -day basis as well. And that is everything that we have. Fantastic. So we have just about two minutes uh, for any questions that have come in. Um, Paul Mitchell, you had a question about you know, if, if you had your link for your for your after speech discussion. Um, so we don't have an exact link, but like I said, I have that information on there and what we can do is reach out as well. Um, so anybody, it looks like I got the names of a couple of people. So I will definitely make sure I reach out because I'll have your information through StriveScan. All right, so with that, I'm gonna wrap things up since we are almost at time. And I uh, wanna say thank you to everybody for the participants and panelists who joined us today. And when you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. And again, this is just one of many sessions being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And you can see a recording of today's sessions um, within about a week on our same website. And as far as any questions that we didn't get to, um, the panelists will have a list of the questions available to them. So you should be able to reach out to each other um, and get all of your questions answered. So with that, I'm going to end the meeting and wish everybody a happy Monday afternoon. Have a great day.